My name is Del Miller, and I'm a runner and a hair colorist in Los Angeles, California. A lot of the running that I do um, usually involves some sort of like charity organization. Um, I like to run a lot for fun, but if I could also couple that with something that makes an impact on the world and society, then I, I would much rather do that sort of running. January of 2015, I had contracted a bacteria called meningococcal meningitis. It's a life-threatening bacteria that has a 15% survival rate. It came on as the flu. Uh, it got worse. It got much, much worse. And I ended up in the hospital for three months. I had survived, but that's where the bacteria kind of overtook my body. And the gangrene had set into my, my legs, and they just weren't getting better. I had asked my surgeon, I said, if I choose to go through surgeries, will I ever be able to run? He said, you will never run, and you will always walk with difficulty, probably with a cane most likely, at the best case scenario. He said, if you want to run, you will have to amputate both legs below the knees. Well, I, I want to run, so, how early can we do it? I chose to amputate both of my legs below the knees. And it was the best decision of my life. This is where I was at. And I had a long way to go before I would see running again. When you've run 26.2 miles, you don't think that you're never going to be able to walk 10 feet. You know, what makes someone an athlete? Are you an athlete because you can accomplish a marathon? Or are you an athlete because you can sit up and take two steps? So I had to find who I was now. I had to find the strength to do something that I had not done since I was a baby, and that was to learn how to walk. It sounds funny, but the thing that keeps me positive and that, that drives me to want to do more is the challenge. I thrive on challenge. It's, it's been my personality my entire life. So for me, just having been stripped away of everything I knew and told to start over again, that to me was the thing that, that just made me so excited and ready to take it on. Accepting this new change and evolving into the person that I always knew and wanted to be. That's my future. That's my evolution. So for me, sports and life, it goes hand in hand. I'm not the first one to get prosthetic legs. Somebody has done it before me, which means I can also do it. And I did it. Sport has given me the ability to impact others on a small scale. But if we all came together and impacted people on a much larger scale, imagine the potential we could reach. That's what the power of sport means to me. So every year in January, I travel to Haiti and I work with an organization called Mission 29.2. And our main purpose for going there is to host a marathon for the community. And there's a school there that we work closely with and all of the money that we bring for this race and goes back to that school and it also brings awareness to the community so that they can get proper education and come back and help the community themselves. It's a really good organization and everyone feels good, everyone's taking part, everyone's learning how to be involved in their own community and I think that's what's so important with this organization. I'm, I'm still an athlete. It's just a different kind of, of strength that you have to find and I think we all have capabilities and they're all at different lengths and they're all at different heights and they're all at different speeds. But what makes someone an athlete is perseverance, is waking up every day and doing it again. We don't all have to run, you know, 26.2 miles, but we all, we all have to take one more step than we did the day before.